James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is July 24th, 2023, 10.30 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, NOAA has just announced that we have a Halo CME inbound, and NASA is actually in agreement with them. They're looking for a minor G1-class geomagnetic storm, and it's possible on July 27th when a halo CME is expected to hit Earth's magnetic field. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the filament that we discussed on the 23rd that looked like it caused a solar tsunami. There was actually another one right to the north that we're about to take a look at, and these were subsequent to two solar flares I'm about to show y'all. They blame everything as they're not quite sure what happened. Y'all also saw the Halo CME I showed you yesterday on what little space weather update we could get out without censorship. And that seemed to last most all of the day. The storm cloud was hurled towards Earth on July 23rd around 1530 UTC time by a complex eruption involving a C5 class solar flare, which we're about to see is untrue, in sunspot AR3376 and the liftoff of a relatively nearby magnetic filament. The details for this forecast may change in response to ongoing modeling by NOAA analysts. Let's go see what really happened. Right, this is the Halo CME, and we noticed that it lasted almost all day long. Obviously, they've cut the feed here. This is supplied in the article I just read. And obviously, I said this was a Halo in last night's Space Weather Update, and it will be Earthbound. Now, at the time, I wasn't quite sure what caused it, but I am now. Right, they're trying to blame a filament eruption and then this little C flare here. But what is really the cause is this M flare here. It came out to be about an M4. And then if y'all remember, I keep referring to this. This was named a C9.95 and it was named an M.01 by NASA. And they had smoothed it, but it's back to being non-smoothed and two different eruptions. We're going to be taking a look, but these blasts were from AR3372, and this smaller blast was from AR3376. Let's see what that looks like currently. Now we see AR3372 cresting the western limb. It's about to be gone, girl. This was taken at 7.06 this morning. So we have a good chance that AR3372 is even further around the western limb. Now both the M 3.95 flare and the M.01 per NASA or C 9.95 per no flare was generated by AR3372 whereas the smaller C flare was generated by AR3376 later on in the day. Let's take a look at that day so we can see exactly what happened. This was all covered, and I believe that we noticed the filament eruption on that day, as I will show you. NASA has told so many lies, it's almost impossible for them to keep them together. There are the two M flares. We'd be looking here for something. There's nothing, but you can see the two filament eruptions as well. All right, we're going to take it by hand so everyone can see what's going on. The M3.95 and M.01 or C9.95 is going to generate from 3372 here. And we will see something happen here, but after the two filament eruptions, not one. Let's take a look. So there is the M flare followed up again by the smaller M flare there. And we get complete shutoff, probably an impact of the camera. When it comes back on, we can see that very large tsunami there. And it looks like it's followed by a second tsunami here. I thought these were solar tsunamis. They're calling them filament eruptions. 
and they're probably combinations of both as you can see dark film interruption there tsunami and then a well a regular film interruption there and a tsunami one two and then let's watch for the c5 here another impact for the camera and there was the c5 right there that they're blaming as part of this they didn't blame the eruption that lined up with the actual solar tsunamis let's watch that again as you can see seven two over there on the top right it hits one big m flare the 3.95 then another m flare then the cameras hit then the tsunami or dark film eruption here then above that you'll see a regular filament eruption there and another solar tsunami and then look at ar3376 double impact right there that's it right there so they're blaming all that from the 23rd but they're not mentioning the earth directed m flares they're actually trying to bring this smaller c flare from ar3376 into the picture now it could very well be a combination of all four but at this time i would guess the stronger m3.95 and m.01 flares would be more responsible than the smaller c5 flare again the c5 came from ar3376 the other two from ar3372 if you haven't caught on yet now last night nasa this is nasa's goodard is with spiral had a cme hitting earth along with venus along with osiris rex along with parker sp and we weren't quite sure what generated that but i guess now we are they're blaming and this comes right from nasa and oh this morning the first dark filament eruption not including the second filament eruption tsunami and then they're blaming the smaller C5 flare, not the M3.95 and M.01 flares that erupted just as the tsunami erupted. All right, this is my report from the 23rd, and you won't be able to hear it real well because I would like to speak. Uh, this is the action that we saw earlier today. And they did say, look at that. Let's uh, let watch this again. This is the action that we saw earlier today. We do seem to have a huge tsunami here. It's gone unreported, a dark film and eruption and a second one. First I've seen of this, it is today. And there's one up here as well. Look at this. See the dark film explode here? And there's another one that exploded right after that on 193 angstroms this is the cme let's watch the cme first make sure i'm backed up enough first the cme right there if then it goes dark and then a huge and then another tsunami up here so we've had a lot more activity than they've let on and when it blinked right there the camera got hit so in summary we see none of the film interruptions although they should show up here on goes based on what we just saw we did see the m 3.95 here followed by the either c 9.95 or nasa calls it an m.01 and then here is the smaller flare later in the day that we saw lift off that they're trying to actually blame as part of this coronal mass ejection when the smart money picks the earth facing m flares or m flare and subsequent strong c flare plus the two solar tsunamis one caused by a dark filament eruption one above that caused by a regular filament eruption all went untold but we pegged them on the 23rd now they're calling for this impact on the 27th that's four days from the actual explosions and filament eruptions 
I would think that they would be here before that. But let's wait and see. We had the combo of all three of these flares here. And then the dark filament eruption and tsunami and the regular filament eruption above that and tsunami that has not even been mentioned. And again, they're pulling the earth facing M flare and subsequent either C9.95 or M.01 flare completely out of the picture when in fact we know they were earth facing at the time. God bless you and yours. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.